Hello guys, in this video we are going to continue with our revision as we prepare for our final examination. So today we are going to be focusing on, or rather on this video, we are going to be focusing on finance. And we can see that we are given a, this is part of statements, right? This is part of statements. So we can see that we are given a statement here, a financial statement uh, that we need to use to answer our set of questions. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and start working on our first question. So we'll start with question 2.1. So we are told that um, the Smith family would like to go on vacation in 2025. So we are told that the Smith family would like to go on vacation in 2025. And then we are also told that Mr. Smith examines um their finances per month in 2024 and sets up the following monthly budget to determine how much they can save their vacation the following year right okay so now we can see that we are given table one which is the monthly budget for the smith family so this is the monthly budget for the smith family and we can see that we are we have income and expenses we can see that we have income and expenses. And as I always say, guys, that in mathematical literacy, we will always be given something to work with. So we will always be given something to work with. And in this case, we can see that we are given a statement. We can see that we are given the monthly budget for the Smith family that we need to use so that we can be able to answer our set of questions. So we'll start with question 2.1.1. So question 2.1.1 says that calculate how many liters of fuel, calculate how many liters of fuel the Smith family uses per month if the price of fuel is 23 rand, 25 cent per liter. If the price of fuel is 23 rand, 25 cent per liter. So we need to check how much they spent on fuel. And we can see that they spent 4,500. So to calculate the liters, we divide by the price per liter, which is 23,25. So this is the price per liter that it's given. So we divide pay by it so that we can be able to see how many liters of well they used. So we just plug this on our calculator, which is 4,500, divide by 23 comma two five and this will give us one ninety three comma five five liters remember we are looking for the number of liters so this is the number of liters that they used on fuel okay and then next we will move to question two point one point two so question two point one point two says that calculate the total groceries for the month so we can see that um, in a week, they buy 1,150 groceries. And we know that in a month, we have four weeks. So this basically means that they spent um, 1,150 um, for four each week, each week. And we have four weeks in a month. So to find the total groceries for the month or the total amount of groceries for the month, we just come here and multiply by four. So this will give us, let's see, so it's 1,150 multiplied by 4. So this is the 4. So it's 4 weeks because we know that in a month we have 4 weeks. And our answer will be 4,600. So we can easily see that they spent 4,600 on groceries each month. And then next we will move to question 2.1.3. Next we will move to question 2.1. Point three. Okay, so here we are told to calculate how much money the Smith family has left has left at the end of the month to save for their vacation. So we need to find out how much money they have they have left at the end of the month to save for their vacation. And we know, guys, that to do that, we need to compare what they receive, which is total income, and what they spend, which is total 
expenses but we can see that our total expenses is not given right so we need to first get our total expenses and we know that um, the amount for groceries we calculated it on question 2.1.2 so it's 4600 so now we can easily find the total expenses so we will just add up everything so we'll just come and see 8400 plus 8200 plus 2100 plus 4600 plus 4500 plus 2000 plus 4850 plus 1850 Okay, so now we just plug this on our calculator. So we'll come and say 8,400 plus 8,200 plus 2,100 plus 4,600. And then if we plug this on our calculator, we will get, we will get 36,500. We will get 36,500. So this is our total expenses so our total expenses will be 36,500 and we can see that our total income or rather the total income is 47,000 to, to so to see how much money they can be able to save we take total income so it's total income minus total expenses expenses so their total income is 47,000 and then their total expenses is 36,500 and if we plug this on our calculator so it's 47,000 minus 36,500 so if we plug this on our calculator we can see that the amount that they can be able to save is 10,500 after they've after they have paid after they have paid all their expenses so this is the amount that they can be able to this is the amount that they can be able to save right and then next we will move to question 3.1.4 but we can see that we don't have space for that so let's create space let's create space and don't forget guys that we do have online extra classes and if you want to join you can just text the number that you are seeing on the screen so it's not free we charge 80 rand per month this month and the next year we will be charging 100 rand okay and if you haven't liked the video you can like the video and also share the video and don't forget to also subscribe guys so that when we post our next content you are the first to be notified and another thing you can just tell us where you are watching from on the comments section so you can just comment by where you are watching from so if you're in cape town just write cape town if you're in Houting, if you're in Joburg, if you're in free state just comment with free state so that i can be able to see where you are watching the videos from okay and then next we will move to question two point one point four next we will move to question two point one point four so question two point one point four says that if the rent income if the rent income they received per month in 2023 was four thousand six hundred and four thousand four hundred and sixty five calculate to the nearest whole number the percentage income from 2023 2024 so we can see that we are given the formula that we can use so we come and say rent income in 2024 remember this statement is for 2024 guys this is for 2024 so for 2024 the rent income we can see that it's 5000 so from our formula that is given here we can see that we have rent income which is 5000 minus the rent income in 2023 which is given here which is 4465 divided by the rent income 2023 which is the same 4000 
4,465 multiplied by 100. So we don't include this percentage. So we just multiply by 100 so that we can be able to get our answer as a percentage. So if we plug this on our calculator, we will get 11.98%. So this is the percentage increase from 2013 to 20 from 2023 to 2024 so this is the percentage increase for for rent so if you plug this on your calculator you should be able to get the 11.98 percent and then next we will move to question 2.1.5 so question 2.1.5 says that name one other type of income that a household can earn name one other type of income that a household can earn. So we can say that Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith can work over time, can work over time. And we know that if he works over time, we will be able to get more money. Okay. And that brings us to the end of this question. Don't forget to subscribe guys so that um, when we post our next videos, you can be able to be notified, okay?